Good morning, viewer. Welcome to our first activity. Here's the breaking news. Yes, the successful landing of India's third lunar spacecraft, Chandrayaan Truer, is only the beginning of India's space missions. Repeating the words of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Indian Space Research Organization head S. Somnath said on Wednesday, but yes, that the golden era of India's space program has only begun. Somna said that while the focus of the space agency over the last few months has been to ensure the success of Chandrayaan Truer, ISU is also working on some other big ticket projects that are lined up for the coming months. He added that with this mission, India has cemented its name as a worthy player in the global space industry. Going to the moon and making a soft landing is a tough mission. It is a very difficult or any nations even with the most sophisticated technology to achieve this but we have done it in just two missions the first mission had an error miss and now we have achieved it so perfectly he said he also said that this mission will give the space agency confidence to explore the fastness of space to a greater degree and that for the next three months it so has its hands full with missions yes Aditya Helwan, we have some big missions that are lined up. After Chandrayaan 3, we will immediately be taking up Aditya L1 project, which is our sun mission. It has already been integrated and has been moved to see Harikota and maybe today or tomorrow, the rocket will also be integrated, Somnath said, adding that the launch of India's first sun mission is being planned for early September. Aditya L1 is India's first dedicated scientific mission to study the sun. Earlier, this mission was conceived as Aditya 1 with a 400 kg class satellite carrying one payload. The visible emissions line coronagraph VELC and was planned to be launched in an 8 100 km low earth orbit. However, since the satellite placed in the hollow orbit around the first Laranjian point that is called L1 of the sun earth system has the major advantage of continuously viewing the sun without any occultations eclipse. The Aditya 1 mission was renamed as Aditya L1 mission which will be inserted in a hollow orbit around the L1 1.5 million kilometer from the earth towards the sun. Isro scientists said that the instruments of Aditya L1 are tuned to observe the solar atmosphere mainly the chromosphere and corona. Yes, in situ instrument will observe the local environment at L1. The spacecraft carries seven payloads to observe the photosphere, chromosphere and the outermost layers of the sun, the corona using electromagnetic and particle and magnetic field detectors. Using the special band Touch point L1, four payloads directly view the sun and the remaining three payloads carry out in situ studies in particles and fields at the Larange point that is called L1, thus providing important scientific studies of the propagatory effects of solar dynamics in the interplanetary medium, ISTO's latest missions document say. The suits of Aditya L1 payloads are expected to provide not crucial information to understand the problem of coronal heating, coronal mass ejection, pre-flare and flare activities and their characteristics, dynamics of space weather propagations of particle and fields. The space agency also announced that the next in line would be key aspects of India's first human space flight mission Gaganjan. The abort mission demonstration for Gaganjan is expected around the last week of September or early October. The project envisages demonstration of human space flight capability by launching a crew of three members to an orbit of 400 km for a three-day mission and bringing them back safely to Earth by landing in Indian sea waters. The project is accomplished through an optimal strategy by considering in-house expertise, experience of Indian industry, intellectual capabilities of Indian academia and research institution along with cutting-edge technologies available with international agencies is to in its mission document. BN report.